What it do, Empire Game? It's yours truly, King Swizz. Before we get into this video, we got an errand to run. As you can tell, quite stone. Real fucked up. Blueberry pie. That's all I gotta say. Y'all had it, you know. But we got a dope reaction video today, guys. Um, coming from Sean1K. Another Alabama artist, like I said. If, while I'm doing music reaction videos, I'm gonna do them to some artists from where I'm from because nobody's doing them. So, but how was y'all Christmas? Did you guys have a good one? Hopefully, y'all did. We did over here at Benson Empire. Also, guys, like I said, if you would like to donate to the channel, all you got to do is cash out. My name, which is King Swizz, K I I N G G S W I I Z Z, you know, with the dollar sign in front. That's all you gotta do. You know, support the channel. We appreciate. No matter what you donate, it could be a dollar. We don't care. Everything that's being donated is going towards the channel to give you a better channel. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Hold on real quick, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. Let's bounce back. Get ready to get into this reaction. It's a dope song. Cold hearted. It's off the stack of starve. Um, I don't know if it's, I'm guessing, mixtape. Yeah, if you heard the mixtape, it's a pretty dope one. Um, I've been listening to Sean 1K ever since he was the little Sean 1000. So I've been vibing to his music for a minute. He got that kind of music, you know, remind me of Boosie. Of the realness and the storytelling. And I really like the No More Inks. Them bitches go crazy. For real, for real. at the spot where we smoke a lot. Skirt, skirt. How future said, skirt, skirt. Alright. All right. Let's get into it. This is Sean 1K Cold Hearted. Look in the mirror and I see the dog. I know that I'm deep. Uh, was that a nigga with a clown mask on? I know that I'm digging my own grave. Take my soul and keep the shovel. Whatever to keep me level. If you know anything about digging your own grave, that's a way of saying putting yourself in more shit. You know, no matter how much you may be trying to get out, somehow you're getting in more shit. And the more shit you get into, they call that digging a grave. See what else he's saying. Good hearted nigga, give you my last and won't brag about the way I helped you. Why I had to get the same heart that my granny had. Shit ain't been the same since my granny passed the fell and turn the leeches. They be leeching, shit ain't peachy. This shit very sad. I wanna say fuck them, but I know that'll make my granny mad. <laughs> yeah, that he wanted to 
Somebody said, fuck him, but that'll make this granny mad. You know, a lot of people don't know, like, especially, you know, to keep it all the way real, niggas in the hood, you know, nine times out of ten, you may end up staying with your grandma. You know what I'm saying? No matter what's going on with your parents, or your grandma may be the spot that you love going to. And you may just get older and move in with your grandparents, but grandparents play a key role in young niggas' lives, like, straight up. Niggas care more for their grandparents than they own parents sometimes. That just, just be how it is. And if you close to them, you'll tell them anything. You'll do anything for them because you know more than likely they saved you from a situation or something. I know what he talking about there, cause she had my mama was the same way. She had to play mom and dad, and that's not technically playing. But for you guys who don't know what that means, that's when your mom have to be the mom in your life and your daddy, because your dad ain't there. You know what I'm saying? So. That makes it super hard, especially on a woman, because a mom, she can teach you everything that you need to know. But when it comes to specific man need and guidance and structure that's needed in a little boy's life, only another male can put that in, whether it's his dad, uh, you know, an OG, you know, somebody they look up to, anything like that. So when moms try to do it all, but they be doing it, so I salute them. They do the best they can, too. And they raise hella intelligent and respective young men, too. No matter how deep in the streets they may be, they got a heart of gold. And shit like that will make you cold hearted. You know, you go through shit with your brother, your cousins, your dad, like, you know, all kind of shit. It'd be so much stuff on the young nigga mind, so I can relate to that. You can tell, like, he, he deep in thought about some shit. And you can tell this next scene, it just flashed into a, <clears throat> a chick's house, it looks like. So it's probably finna touch bases on the female. So let me guess on this here. Nah, can't no nigga say he ain't had a female like that in his life that he felt that way about. Every nigga, at some point before you get into your adult adulthood, you done felt this way about a chick before. Whether she becomes your baby mama, or is your baby mama, or somebody from school, or, you know, later in life. Like, you, you've been through this situation before. You know what I'm saying? You do the best you can. And this is how, this is what's not explained, how niggas end up being in fucked up modes later in life. Because shit happened to us just as well as to women. You feel what I'm saying? And people don't understand that or get that. But it's so much from a personal experience a nigga can take before he go off or he do some shit back. I mean, that's a human reaction. You try to stay good-hearted and pure-hearted to people and then they keep fucking you over. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what else. Every girl out there, they get the pain from it. Hard for me to trust, I be thinking they running game on me. Got a new bitch and I win it, tatted her name on me. Got the tattoo the next day, she acting strange on me. Don't you change on me, you lawyer, but you got your way to get. <laughs> That's why I was always told, and it'll be a joke in the hood, you know, don't ever tat no female name on you unless it's your mama name or your sister, you know, somebody like that. 
because it's true, man. You don't know who you're going to be with. You may stick with that person at a young age. You may not. Y'all may separate or come back or something. Or you may just end up going completely different ways. And now you stuck with a name on you for the rest of your life. Or unless you decide to get it covered or removed or some shit. Other than that, that shit stuck on you. So, y'all yeah, learn something from that. That's true, that's true. A lot of females do that shit too. You know, they get mad, want to shout the truth. I feel them like only a real nigga that been through something gonna feel that line. Just because you get mad and tell the truth, that don't make me feel amazed. Like, you can tell me the truth without being pissed off. You can tell me the truth without being in your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Just because you in your feelings now, you think the truth going to hit harder. No, it don't amaze me. It's still the same shit, you know? It don't solve anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You no, respect that the work. I guess that's his little boy. No, it seemed like he talking to his baby mama. So the other chick must have been like his girlfriend at the time. And now he talking to his baby mama because it showed his kids. And he probably finna touch bases on his kids now. So I ain't never get to tell you how I really feel. Came between me and my kids. Acting like a kid when all I ever did was what you asked me. Look, you told me get the fuck on, I do. Can't see my kids, look here. Claim that you don't want me, now you mad cause another picture. Man, look, that's what I try. And I ain't lying. And that's crazy cause that's how people do you. They don't want to be with you, but they don't want nobody else with you. Like, what type of game you playing? Like, why you got to even play games? If you don't want to be with me, go be with somebody else. You know, let me be with somebody else. You don't got to play. You ain't got to sit here and do these little games. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do it too. It ain't just the females. Niggas play the same fucking game. Don't want to see you with nobody else. So he going to be in the picture causing chaos or bullshit. It just don't, I don't understand that shit. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired of all of the unnecessary drama. My kids can't see my mama, won't you let your grudge Damn. go? Girl, we ain't getting no younger. You told can't my baby drama? it's on love. Really, I don't love them, make a fool of me, man. You a now, what did I say at the beginning of this when we first started talking about this video? How much niggas love their grandma. And now you holding the kids back. They can't speak to their grandma. Oh, no. Well, grandma, grandma ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? You can't be blaming other family members like that over a problem going on between you and another person. You know, you can't get mad at that either. You know what I'm saying? That's just real. Because if it was the other way around, you will be feeling the same way, you know? The cruel song. Get around your folks and bash your nigga. Well, you know, I do everything you and me, nigga. But you know a reputation don't mean shit to me. Teaching my kids to be hateful is the only thing they get to me. He just, he just threw the money on and that looked like uh, the baby mama, mama, sitting at the table. You know, he told her how he really felt about it. He just hate that he try, that she is trying to turn his kids against him and his family pretty much by the way she's talking about him to the kids like, and showing out and acting in front of the kids you feel what I'm saying that shit be crazy though that shit get deep when you have baby mamas like that and 
Baby mamas have, baby daddies have, act like that. The reason they cold hearted, don't get mad. video dope ass song for sure yeah, he just get some off his chest you can tell he was just feeling this beat probably heard it you know thought about some real life shit or maybe relating to somebody else you never know you know it's either something he's seen or something he been through you can tell when a real nigga tell real nigga stories because uh, he, he's seen the pain he's been around the pain put it that way but yeah, that's it for this one. It was a great review, honestly. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. Sean YK. Go download his music. You know, this ain't promotion. I'm just doing reaction videos, like I said. So, now I don't promote cigarette smoke, as y'all seen I was smoking in the video. I do promote cannabis, though. Just being 1,000. <laughs> Alright, guys. It's King Swizz. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop comments, like, share, subscribe, all that. Let me hear y'all opinions. What else you guys would like to see in videos. We're going to keep it rolling.